update on the Archer's Sallet. It's looking pretty good now. I got myself one of those fancy um, auto darkening welding masks. What a revelation. Total game changer. Because you can see what you're doing. You can have both hands firmly on the you know, on the welding torch and press the button then off you go. I've also done a bit of panel beating on it using my little mini anvil to support you know some curvature on there and also to support a little dolly that I got off the internet and also for curves in the opposite direction I could put the helmet on that you know that little curved section and give it a good welt with a ball peen hammer from the inside so all in all I've got quite a nice looking surface you know I'll clean it up with a grinder and a belt sander it's not this obviously isn't the finished finish and there there was a, a little area that was shallow so I built that up with a bit more weld that will get taken down all in all I'm very pleased with it and the welding on the inside isn't very pretty because a lot of that was done before I had the you know the auto darkening doodah face mask but that bit of weld just there that was done see that's a bit tidier it's been getting better but um, you know if, if you're looking at doing a bit of home welding that little MIG welder absolutely brilliant for sort of home use hobby use uh, that's which one it is and it's they've got a website and it uses IGBTs which are basically fancy heavy-duty semiconductors to rectify and chop the mains incoming mains without a bloody great transformer so you can see I'll pick it up in one hand very easily and it does the job quite nicely I mean I don't know yeah it probably wouldn't do you for professional usage there's my old mask but the combination of that and the self darkening mask is brilliant and it's got three controls in it one for the level of darkness one for the sensitivity and one for the delay little test button which helps reassure you that it's working the irritating thing is it's got a little switch which is grind, cut or weld and I didn't notice it originally, I had it on the grind setting which basically doesn't get as dark as it would in the weld setting so if you look on the shade at the moment it's set to 7 slash 11 well it's seven, a darkness of 7 in the grind setting or the cut setting I think and 11 in the weld setting so basically the damn thing wasn't going dark enough initially and it was very it was still pretty bright and fortunately I only did a tiny bit just just one little squirt of arc I thought Christ that's too bright so I um, adjusted the darkness more then I had a careful look and saw the switch but I'd seen a YouTube video that basically said you adjust the darkness so that you can see what you're doing and it's not so bright that it dazzles you so it's just a word of warning if you get one of those yeah I did read the instructions first I know blokes don't normally but it's a black switch on a black background with le lettering that's almost invisible so it's hard to see, you know, just to the right of those three knobs, there's the switch. Anyhow, once I've done that, absolutely brilliant, total game changer. It's not totally clear, just looking through it. So you can see it's, it's not daylight clear, but it's clear enough to see what's going on. And if I press the test button, it'll... There you go. Anyhow, game changer. And that's looking pretty good. There's a couple of tiny little holes that I might fill with weld. But there comes a point where you think, oh, I've had enough of that. Very pleased with it. 
even the scruffy areas aren't too bad. Uh, could do with a bit more. There's a tiny little concave bit just where my thumb is. I might thump that with a ball peen hammer. Clean it up with on the belt sander and with some files, sandpaper, what have you. Polish it up. Then worry about rivets and getting the, the nice leather liner back in. All in all, very pleased with it. Much better looking profile.